I'm Jared Webb, an assistant pastor at Lakeview Wesleyan Church. This week's focus is submission and obedience. And today's passage is James 4, 7, which says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Now, I wrestled in high school. And ever since then, I've had this bitter taste in my mouth when it comes to WWE and professional wrestling. Because even if Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Undertaker had these cool entrances, these grand moves, these awesome costumes, that's not real wrestling. But I can't help but think of ourselves in a ring with God because of this verse. God's got us in a chokehold or an arm bar and he's saying, submit, submit. And our eyes are bulging out of our head and we're gasping for air. Isn't it funny how we think that God is bloodthirsty? God doesn't want to have our best interest in mind. He just wants to make us lose. When in reality, this is Satan. He's the one who's bloodthirsty. He's the one who doesn't have our best interests in mind. He's the one who wants us to lose. And that's the way it's been, this upside down way of looking at the world ever since the first sin in the Garden of Eden. The serpent comes to Adam and Eve and convinces them that the bad is good and the good is bad. God, the source of all good, seems evil and sin, idolatry, theft, sexual immorality, seems good. And because this is all that we've known in our lives for happiness, for fulfillment, for joy, when we are asked to submit to God, and give this up, it feels like we can't be happy anymore. That God is asking us to be a stingy, grumpy curmudgeon for the Lord. You want to do that? I don't. The reality is that true joy is found in walking in the footsteps of Christ. The most fun that you'll ever have is with the one who is responsible for creating fun. The most fulfillment that you will find in life is in living in God's way. True joy is found in the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And when we say submit, we're not saying we lose, we're doomed. We're saying, yes, Lord, I'll do what you ask if it means I'm on the winning team. We're surrendering and no longer following our own way of living because that hasn't worked. We're trading from Satan's team to God's team, from the devil's practices to God's practices. There are two different types of submission. The first is communal. These are the general expectations that God has for his people. Loving God, loving neighbor, what God asks of his people. So when we do this, when we say yes to this, we're essentially saying this is how life was always intended to be. This is the best way to live. This is how God made us to live. On the other hand, we have personal submission. This is what God asks you to do your calling, your mission, a specific restriction for you. When we say yes to this, when we submit to this, we're essentially saying, Lord, you know the best plan for my life. Anything else would fail to match its greatness. Even if it doesn't feel like it in the moment, even if it feels confusing, it feels unnatural, we must remind ourselves, submission to God is always a gift. What we gain has infinitely more worth than what we lose. When I started my master's degree, it was the lowest point of my life, the angriest point of my life. I had been betrayed and I wanted nothing more than to run away from Marion, Indiana. And part of my degree requirements was that I find a church to be a resident pastor at. And so I started looking for some place away from this place. 
And sure enough, an opportunity unfolded before me to go to a church hundreds of miles away. It made sense. A new place for a new season of my life. So I wouldn't have to walk down the streets and face those painful memories in my past. So I wouldn't have to encounter people that would bring my uncomfortable reality to light. And the more I began to ponder it, the more I began to pursue it, the Holy Spirit pressed in more and said, Jared, I want you to stay in Marion. What? <laughs> Lord, you don't understand. Isn't the best option for me to go away? Isn't this church the best opportunity for me to grow in my life and my ministry and my leadership? But the Lord assured me that I would not be sacrificing by staying here. And he was right. I don't regret submitting to the Lord in that time because God's way, God's choices, God's plan for our life is always, always, always better than anything we could ever imagine. So even if it feels icky, even if it feels confusing, even if it feels unnatural, I hope that you remember today that submission is a gift, that you'll open your arms and receive the gift of submission from our Lord today. Now, let's pray. Lord Jesus, you are Emmanuel, God with us. Through your perfect life, you demonstrated to us the value of submission. Even if another way may have been more desirable in the garden, you submitted to your Father, accepting his way as best. Teach us to submit like you. Teach us to see submission to the Father as a gift and opportunity to become more like you and draw closer to your Father. Send your Spirit to take our hearts of stone and give us hearts of flesh that are drawn to the ways of God and not our own ways. May we be so transformed that we do not fall into the patterns of walking away from you time and time again, like your people did in times of old. Forgive us for the times that we have failed to submit and give us your eyes to see the Father and his will and his desires in all of their goodness. Give us your ears to hear commands of obedience. Give us your feet to walk in Christ's likeness. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen.